Connecticut coming in at number two in the overall ranking of mental health and well-being just behind Massachusetts. So that means a lower prevalence of mental illness and higher rates of access to care. Now those numbers in this report by Mental Health America are based on most recent data from 2022. Some other key findings, about 23% of adults nationwide experienced a mental illness in the past year. In Connecticut, that number is 21%. Now the numbers look pretty similar similar for kids with about 20% of youth ages 12 to 17 reporting suffering from at least one major depressive episode in the past year. In Connecticut, that number is 19.8%. 13 million adults reported serious thoughts of suicide, and this rate of suicidal ideation is especially concerning in light of the fact that 2022 saw the highest ever recorded number of completed suicides, over 49,000. And this report also giving us insight into why people are not seeking treatment. The top reasons given by young people ages 12 to 17 include thinking they should be able to handle their mental health on their own, worrying about what people would think or say if they got treatment, worrying that information would not be kept private, and not knowing how or where to get treatment. Largely, rural states scored the lowest in that report in terms of overall mental health. Those are Montana, Arizona, and Nevada. If you're looking for help for yourself or somebody else, you can call 211 to learn more about resources 24-7. I'll send things back to you at the desk.